Hey, what's good? It's Josh. Welcome to the video. Me and my boy Barry about to get y'all right on how to make some Alden type music. <laughs> First thing this dude does is got that crispy ass vocal. So to get that, we're gonna take out hella lows. We're gonna take out a little bit of the high, like DSing. Take out those snaky S's. We got the Arvox. Use a little compression, adjust the gate. Let me solo these. I'm taking the gloves off now. Just doing five to seven dB of compression, medium attack, fast release. Got a little saturation going on here with this little preamp. Got some more coloration with this tape plug in right here. Giving it a little bit of that, yeah. We got a little multi band controlling the lows. Oh, yeah, all that boxiness. All done, done like that and then to get that stupid crispy vocal check this out we got fresh air on the wish that i could go to space yeah. oh yeah then we got cla epic i love this plugin because you can send reverb to your delays and vice versa it's just a sick way to give a lot of dimension and depth to your mix a little limiting these motherfuckers always be playing with this throat thing and auto tune bro what are you talking about man you get there you just go to classic or format whatever then you hit that throat it's how these dudes getting that chip monkey sound wish that i could go to space Get away from you. There are a lot of cool plugins to do this. One of my favorites, I'd be saving up for it if you ain't got it, is that manipulator. Wish that I could go to space. Get away from me. Yup, yup. I made sure to clean these up, just apply fades, take out all that extra noise. For the sins, got a little reverb, got that vintage verb, and then these delays. I say this every video, but I swear y'all gonna listen one day. All these people be layering vocals, and so here's an example right here. All of these stars that call us out this room. So we got, we got that little high falsetto usher type tone. Ooh. And then we got all of these stars. All of these stars. Pitch isn't great on these. I just put this together for you guys, but if uh, you were actually recording, I would make sure to get the right takes or just use something like Melodyne to get the take sounding real nice. But yeah, it just thickens it up, makes it real nice and thick. Then I added some more layers in this part for some extra thickness. This is how you do it right here. Take your main vocal, you do a left and a right, possibly even a left, right times two, and then you layer it with a deeper tone or some harmonies. Ah! You'd be like, ah, uh, I think you get it. One cool thing that I like to do is bounce vocal effects to audio. So what do I mean by that? And so all that was was a little H delay, quarter note, ping pong. And we got this auto filter taking out the highs, kind of filtering it out as time goes on. The key here is that feedback. I wanted it to really last for a long time. So the more you turn up the feedback, the longer the delay is going to last. If you only want it to repeat one time, then you would lower that feedback. But in this case, I wanted it to be really long. But then what I did, created audio track, go to resampling. Resampling is the plug. Hit record. Yep, get all that audio. Mm-hmm, come to papa. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Barry, you like that, don't you? Next thing this dude be doing is manipulating his sounds and loops to be dope. So I took this loop right here. Already dope sounded loop, but I just wanted it to be a little different. Make it my own. Chopped it up a little bit. Did some reverses, and so in Ableton, you would just hit R to do that. Also making these little chop and pitching it. I've been doing this a lot recently, super dope. Something this dude also does is he creates sections for songs that are really different. So one way to do that is to make the second verse different from the first verse instruments. The cool thing about this is that you can keep the exact same part but just affect it differently. So what I did here, I just have the main loop and then I also added a 12, an octave up loop. So I just pitched it up 12 semitones. I added RC20, basically just filtering it. Here's what it sounds like without it. It's just so full, but I wanted, after that big drop that we're just going crazy, I wanted the energy to die back down. One way to do that is by filtering your second verse and then kind of opening up that filter as it goes on into the pre or the hook and it just allows it to build way more. One cool thing you can do is separate your loop into multiple audio channels. This way you can affect each audio channel differently to make it just unique and vibey. Right here, what I did, I have the normal loop going right here. Yep. And then I also added on this channel, a lot of distortion and OTT, just kind of made it crunchy and weird sounding and so when you combine them it's just like a whole different thing next thing we got is that 808 that bass that slap life one cool thing that i know aries alden all these people will be doing is adding an octave up to their 808s we just got that hard umru 808 if you don't have it definitely need to check it out it's on splice under the umru pack and then we got an octave up I literally just copied it. You would just copy paste, copy your base, go right here, hit command A to select all, and then shift up arrow and just pitch it an octave up. And there you go. 
One thing you want to do is make sure to take out all the low end. You don't want it to get into a fighting competition with your other bass sound. This is actually a free plugin. I would definitely recommend this just to beef up any sound. Listen to that difference. Here's before. Here's after. Oh yeah, just a super cool way just to beef up your sounds, especially if you want it to be a really bass focused song. Another thing to do with these kind of vocals is to mess around with reverb and delay in certain sections. In the beginning of the second verse, I wanted it to sound really airy and dreamy and just to differentiate it from the first verse. I just automated this reverb. Check it out. Back to you. Wish that I could go to space. So I just automated the sin level. Back to you. Wish that I could go to space. Get away from you. One of the main things you need to do to make Alden type music is change your pocket. And so what do I mean by that? So right here we have that four on the floor kind of kick pattern. Right here, I decided to go with a more like trap kind of pattern. <laughs> And then on this next part, I went with like a, almost like a Justin Bieber kind of stayish type pocket. Matter what I say, I keep on. That's one of the cool things about Alden and all these kind of hyper poppy type dudes is they make sure to change the pocket up for different sections of the song. This just really helps make the song sound unique fresh and really take your listener on a journey. If you want some real sauce, here's a bass sound that you can find in a lot of these hyper pop tech songs. I'm just gonna play it with the guitars real quick. This bass is super easy to make, even if you don't have serum, just listen to the principles because they're the same in any synthesizer. You just have a sawtooth wave right here. Turn up the detune, do another one. You can even pitch it up if you want to. Hyper it a little bit, throw some distortion on it, give it a little bit of crunch, but here's where the real magic happens is in the filter. For Serum, I have just this low 24 filter. I just lower it until it feels good. What I find is that those help a lot during breakdown sections or build sections to where you're building up to like a hard 808 or something like that. I also have shaper box on there. Just doing a little side chain because the kick is going doom, 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 that steady four on the floor type rhythm. Also to be more like all that, you gotta use some weird sounds. So use things like this. What is this, a vocal stutter rewind more faggin? I don't know what the hell that is. This is what it sounds like originally. So I just pitched that bad boy up. I thought it sounded cooler. The next thing I want to talk about are transitional sounds. We have a lot of these like little sounds like the exhaust going on. Got a little uplifter. Got downlifters. All these little transitional sounds are just going to really help. Lastly, we got the master channel. Throw in a little bit of Oxford inflator. Throw in some OTT. If you're doing this on the master, make sure to turn this downward compression off. And then I usually just do the depth anywhere from like 5 to like 15. I feel like this just gives it a little bit more presence. Makes everything just pop more. Got ozone going on. Just a little bit of limiting. No EQ. Just a little imaging because I want to make sure that the bass is mono and is compatible. Club systems, all that good stuff. Yo, what you think, Barry? You think that shit slap? Hell yeah, Josh. You tell him. All right, everyone. That concludes today's video. Video. hope you enjoyed it if there's anything that you want me to go over in the next video or things that i could have done better make sure to let me know in the comments also make sure to hit the subscribe button i'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers It'd really help your boy out regardless y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's week y'all keep vibing making dope music i'll see y'all next time love you